Yes then guys, how are we all doing? My name's Morsi and welcome back to my channel. EA are dropping the goods guys. We have got another set of squad foundations. This time we're going over to the Portuguese league. As you can see by the three lads on the screen. We got Rafa, Suarez and Inacio. These are the boys you can grind via the, the uh, squad battles or rivals objectives. But that's not what you're here for. What I've got and done, I spent about 45 minutes since the release to get my hands on this beast. Uribe finally gets his special card. Now a certain man in one of the first team of the weeks guys, a little Louis Diaz, a Porto Colombian winger. I had him in my team, he's pretty stayed in my team the whole time. He's dropped down to a super sub, but he is still representing my club. And now I have the perfect excuse to get him in the starting lineup with a hyperlink to this beast. And yes, we are seeing this correctly. We have a Hullet Gang center mid on our hands. So every single stat on the face card is 80 plus. And he's dropping some moves to us right here. And the face card itself looks fantastic. Obviously, the main reason I am unlocking him is purely for that hyperlink into Luis Diaz. But we're going to truly test him out in this little video. See just how good this man is. Take in mind, he's pretty much a free card. We're looking at six foot, high, high, three star, four star. Not quite four star skills, but that should be fine. He's going to play that box to box center mid roll for me. And look how well rounded that is. He's got respectable pace being 81, but we definitely will look to boost that up with a chem style. Going forward, he should be somewhat decent in front of goal. Low to mid 80s across the board. Passing stats look great. The dribbling 91 reactions. Agility and balance a little bit on the low side. We'll test him out, see if he feels super clunky or not. Take in mind, I have just used his regular gold rare card. Pretty certain it's a 78 overall. And actually used him at the start of the game to get Luis Diaz in on full chemistry. So... We'll see how much of an upgrade it is. I'm expecting big, big things. It's a plus eight, if I remember correctly. Uh, defending stats are there. Great interceptions. The physicals, the stamina. That is what I'm excited for. He's going to go all damn game. And player traits, we've got long passer and the outside the foot shot. So the card looks great. I'm a big fan of the card design, the dynamic image. But let's give me the team he's going to be rocking with. For those of you that are quickly wondering what team I used to unlock him, this is what we had to do. So it's seven minimum Liga NOS players, 78 overall and no bronze cards are the requirements. So obviously, as I said, I've got Diaz in my club already. 13.2k he cost me. Unfortunately, he is now extinct purely because of the hype of this Arube. But I silver benched the whole thing down here. We've got Arube here, 79, not 78, my bad. And then a couple of other Liga NOS overpowered cards. And then, of course, a little bit of Stoichi and Ferdinand action. But this is the team that I'm going to be using to test out this man. This is fantastic. We get the hyperlink into Diaz. Both of these boys on full chemistry. Obviously, he would be full chemistry anyway if it was just the strong link because we got Stoichkov in there. But I'm using the other foundation cards, the Eredivisie boys. I'm loving these lads so far. Theo Hernandez at left back for Kia, Dembele and Nkunku. In regards to custom tactics, we're pretty balanced. I say this every time, it's 55-55, balance, balance, 55. Formations are 4 one, two, one, two, brackets 2 I'm using Stoichkov and Diaz up front. We've got Dembele in the pocket. Aribe we're going to test as a box-to-box, -box, somewhat more attacking centre mid. I want to utilise the shooting stats, see just how good he is in front of goal. Fakia is also going to be bombing up and down. And Kunku is sat in CDM, not super defensive. But I'm pretty confident to do a solid job there. Also, I might like to test that Arube in that CDM role as well, as his card is built defensively. And then, of course, the back four stays the same, guys. In regards to chem staff for this man, I probably would just chuck a shadow on him. Even if you're not playing him as that CDM and he's going to be a box to box CDM or center mid, you can boost the pace up as much as you can and fine tune the defending stats. Before this, I'm leaving it on basic. Let me know down below which chem style you chuck on this man. And let's waste no more time. Division 2. I'm still in Div 2. Slowly making my way, chipping away at a couple of wins, getting closer and closer to Div 1. But we're almost there. Let's see if we get a couple of wins in this player. If you truly test out this geezer and see just how good he is. Nice. Yes, you're going to see foundation cards everywhere. I'm a big fan of this and I'm pretty certain there's a little rumour going about that we may see another set of foundations next week. So we're getting these quick. We've gone from having nothing to do in um, the old FIFA Ultimate team, no like grindable objectives, to like literally so many coming out of our ears. So this is positive signs all round. But Arube, not the best start. He got intercepted. There's a very high press on my opponent here, boys. We might be in trouble. We'll move. We'll, we'll come back. We'll come back. Come on then, Arube. How do we feel? Mateus on the ball. Doesn't feel super agile. It's expected. The agility and the balance a little bit low. Fantastic other dribbling stats though. But obviously he's not here to do some like spinny bat flips around the map. We're here to hold down the midfield, maybe get a couple of goals, a few assists, and uh, be that bit of glue holding the team together. Surely keeper's got that. Thank you. 
Oh, come on up, boys. Let's move. Let's move. Got Theo Hernandez bombing forward, you know. Come on, Theo. Lure it in. Bring it back to our man, Mateus. Oh, I kind of want to test a little rogue finesse shot. Rogue finesse shot. Okay, no. No. That's, no. That, that wasn't good. Nice little pick out. Go again. Across goal. Keeper. Let's get something going. That's beautiful. Arube has his chance. He's moved the keeper. Oh, you've got to be taking the mickey. I saw him move the keeper in the last second. I was a little bit too late to the party, unfortunately. But the follow-up as well. Close, but no cigar. Oh. What am I witnessing here, then? What is going on in this game? Well done. Nice bit of tracking back. And look, he's gone. He's got his arm up. He wants to get involved again. Not stop running. We've got Diaz in the middle. It's a lovely pick out. And he's put it wide. Oh, there's so much space here, boys. So much space. And we go 2-0 down. I'm all over my opponent. I've missed sitters. And we're losing 2-0. Nothing seems to be going my way, guys, but trust me, this game's not over yet. If you watch my play of your Macintosh, we were 5-2 down and we did a 6-5 comeback, so anything's possible. Nice bit of play. I'm not sure who that is bombing forward, but I'm pretty certain that's my centre-back. I'm not going to lie to you. It is, and I don't know what's just happened. Nice, Stoichkov's on side and Stoichkov gets the goal. On the edge of half time, we pull one back. I needed that one. It's been a bit of a shambles offensively for me so far. Arube had a sitter and I fluffed my lines. He moved the keeper. Probably should have gone and tapped it in the open net. But we're all over him. 10 plus shots. Should he keep my composure? Calm down a little bit. It's division rivals. We're not going to get heated over here. Oh, we've got players bombing forward. Theo Hernandez is one of them. And Luis Diaz. It's just not going to be our day, is it? Oh, it's that Rube ploughing his way forward. One more to Stoichkov. Hit it. Rebounds. That's 100% one of why that happened there. I knew the shot was not going to go in. And I wanted the keeper to pass it to me. I'll take it. 100% luck. Give me the jam on toast. I don't know what my team's doing formation-wise. We've gone attack if here. Uh, I'm going to mix it up a little bit. Simeone is coming on. Arube is going over to the right-hand side of midfield. Stoichkov is staying up front, though. And Diaz is going to sit in the pocket. Oof. Keep the ball. Lovely. Drill that. It's a great touch. Simeone. How has that gone in? I don't know. Did it take a massive deflection? It's just an absolute screamer from the man. Fair play. And that is should be a Mateus Arube assist there. Nice bit of like poaching on the edge of the box on the man. Uh, he seems to be clinical in the passing department in them kind of situations. But not super quick and agile. Decent deception. Decent bit defending. Are we on side here, Slochkov? Are we on side? Yes, we are. And that has to be GG's in the chat. Simeone, by the way, is still insanely cracked out. One of the best finishers I've used. You saw the state of the goal he scored a minute ago. He's the super sub of dreams. So a solid 4-2 win in game number one. 22 shots. I thought I was all over my opponent. I stand corrected. Eventually, my opponent put his controller down in about the 82nd minute. But a solid start from the boys. Arube feels decent. I believe he got the one assist in game number one. Am I correct? I am. Uh, Mr. Sitter, decent keeper movement for my opponent, to be fair. But let's go on to game number two. Let's see if we can get a goal with the man. So what does game number two have in store for us? Nice. That's a colourful looking team. Messi, Hakimi, player them on Salah. It's quite unique. There's still some standard same old, same old faces, but still a few boys who don't play every single game. So I'm up for this one. See if we can make it two for two and hopefully get our man Mateus Arube on the score sheet. Draw that across. Oof. Oof. That was an unreal pick out from Arube there. Diaz unlucky hitting the defender, but decent chance. Nice bit of movement from Arube to get in the situation as well. Now I need to defend for my life because Salah. Salah's doing Salah things. I'm in trouble. I am in trouble. 
that Messi. Messi, Di Natale and Salah. That kind of front three in a 4-1-2-1-2 is difficult to defend against. He gets a little bit lucky with the rebound into the open net, but fair play. Deserved goal so far. I need to kind of wake up a little bit here. Oh, space down the middle here. One more, Diaz. Keep composed. This man, honestly, what is going on? Oh, there's no way. What is going on in this game then? So 2 0 down. We've got unlucky, a couple of deflections off the post into an open goal, bobbling all over the place. We've missed a couple of sitters. I won't name anybody, <clears throat> Luis Diaz. But I mean, the game's not over yet. All right. Salah and Messi and Di Natale are decent, but they're not quite Dembele, Stoichkov, and uh, this man, Luis Diaz. He's hungry for it. Arube. Yes, the boys. Come on. Comeback season. Mateus Arube gets his goal. That's what I wanted. I wanted a goal with the man in one of the two matches, and we get it. And that could be the comeback. As I say, that Di Natale has absolutely sent me to Tesco and back. The keeper. Ooh. Arube. Flung himself at it. I saw him move the keeper a little bit. I thought maybe we had a chance if we got a bit of height on there. Wasn't meant to be, but a decent effort. How? How? How has that happened? We've just gone from almost scoring to conceding like that. Do it to him. Stoichkov, use that pace. Oh, mate, get in the bin. Get in the bin. So we only come away with one win out of the two matches in this play of you. But my overall impression on our boy Mateus Arube. One assist and one goal for the chap. As that box-to-box -box centimeter, I've tried him on the left and the right-hand side of a 4-1-2-1-2 brackets too. And he is he's very, very solid. I'm not going to say he's sensational because he just isn't. He's very well-rounded. No real stat stands out to me. He is Hullet Gang. So you've basically got a very consistent, solid centre mid on your hands. Considering the card itself is free, it is a massive W. In regards to linking him into your team, a lot of you guys have completed the base icon SPCs. Fingers crossed you've got decent usable icons. If not, you've got Diaz, you've got Rule Breakers, Corona, and I believe there's that right back as well, the upgradable one, the uh, Road to the Knockout stage. Uh, Porto right back which you can get a strong link into this chap so it's quite easy to fit into your team and of course all of these other uh, Liga Nos foundation cards the likes of Rafa and that insane striker that's the SBC he's like six foot two he looks like a bit of a beast but overall a very very nice card he gets the thumbs up for me mainly because he gets a strong link into this inconsistent bastard at top Luis Diaz I'm not done with him I'm going to have words, training drills for weeks, mate. Anyway, guys, I'll be more so hope you enjoyed as always. If you did, please drop me a like, leave me a comment, let me know which league you want to see next in these little foundation objectives. I'll catch you very soon for another video. Take it easy.